Uh, this is uh, the stab you with 22nd this pen. of January, 2009. Look wow. At, I'm doing a time thing. Doing a date thing, I mean. If I do it, yeah, actually, that's what I'll do now. I think uh, there's one on the, uh, isn't there one on the player? Yeah, I think there is. It's no. six after the hour. Uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to traffic. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Let's go to traffic. Uh, right now, someone's losing their cable across the street here. Did you see that coming in? Did you see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's that'd, what be, sorry. that'd be me in a couple weeks. I can't say anything. I thought you lost your cable already. Oh, I did, but now they're now they're coming. They sent me the notice they're coming out to do the physical disconnect. Did, you should call them and say, listen, folks, the okay. government is getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many times we've talked about you guys have talked about cable strategy on oh this my. podcast since uh, and, I've been here. And the radio show. <laughs> that was the, the cable strategy was trying to figure out how to pay it before. Not paying it is now the new strategy. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the fact that you had no cable, so you have no television? No, no. So you either. missed the Obama thing? Well, yeah, no. Did no. You, you didn't watch the Obama swearing in uh, two days ago? Nope. But you can get free TV. It's free. Yeah, I can I can get a couple channels. I can get Fox OK. And well, it was I can on get, all uh, the channels. It was ABC on all the, okay. it was, and it was in all the newspapers, too. Yes. I was probably sleeping. <laughs> uh, okay. It, it no, happened uh, at noon. I, I didn't really care about it. You didn't care about no, it? No, I voted for him. That's all you get. You're welcome. Uh, well, it's You a, won. You're welcome. <laughs> that's all the attention I... That's all That's all you get from me. But I did see that he... Uh, first thing he did was shut down Guantanamo Bay. Mm-hmm. I thought mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. What do you guys yeah. think about that? I'm, I'm curious. Obviously, the... the uh, Something the, happened in this studio. Yeah, there's uh, water on the floor. Uh, so, uh, obviously, the president... Uh, one of his uh, first uh, things that he decided to do was shut down Guantanamo Bay. It's actually going to be... That. It's actually going to be for a year. Can I just fucking set this up before oh, you decide ahead. to start jumping in? <laughs> see... <laughs> No, but uh, it's it was a year. Uh, basically, he's saying that he wants to have it closed in a year. There's going to be certain people that uh, – because they want to take a look at certain cases. They want to do all this kind of stuff. And uh, the big hoo-ha, obviously, is with uh, the senators uh, when they keep saying, like, well, I don't want them coming into my state and all this, that, and the other thing. Um, that's kind of the bit that they're talking about in in the Senate. What do you guys think about that? Bring so, them to Michigan. Maybe somebody will come pay to visit them. Well, you think so? Bring them to Michigan. About, you're talking about the, the prisoners, right? Yeah, yeah. the prisoners yeah. in Guantanamo Bay. Obviously, the people, you know, the senators are going out, and they're saying that they've uh, got some kind of a problem if the guys wind up coming to a penitentiary but inside of their houses. People always say that. I mean, when, they, when, when, you build a, when you build a penitentiary anywhere, people always say that. Too bad. I mean... I don't understand what the problem is with that. What's the problem with having a penitentiary? Penitentiary because in your in your neighborhood. Because I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, they think that they're going to escape and come and rape their children and murder everybody. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, so. because no penitentiary is good enough. Like it, it's it keeps bad guys in. But how how fucking often outside of Fox Television does a prison never, break actually never, happen? Never, never. And that one's been taking four years. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, four they years and they gr- end- well, they broke out of like six prisons know, already. Guy's, I mean, fuck, <laughs> and he, the guy's and amazing. Doesn't he have like a tattoo of the first oh, he got prison? That on his, oh, he did. Yeah, that's a lot of work. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of work to they, get that he removed. Got, he got it removed in less than three. Three minutes too, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> wow! No scarring, nothing. It was just God. Wow, that's pretty cool. But I would. Do you think that they'd have a problem in like Flint if you just uh, built, you know, Guantanamo Bay right in the middle of this thing, and we'd take them? We'd find a way to spin it in Flint. Like you, this you think is so? great. <laughs> We're gonna get five jobs. That's that's what five I was gonna say. Jobs. Like uh, like that, that's <laughs> somebody give me a Ferris wheel. Joel, <laughs> Joel <laughs> Flight would be live standing next to some oil drum. Where it's <laughs> gonna be a construction site. A week <laughs> with a brand new sign terrorist new home yeah. <laughs> welcome to flint four fucking old ladies with a cake yeah <laughs> we baked a cake oh, for yeah. the terrorists there's gonna be some fucking jackass out there hey man you want to buy a ticket to see the terrorist it's terror the john town. walker lind experience <laughs> we'll be, exactly <laughs> we'll be terror town that's instead, right instead of vehicle city terror right town damn. usa F- flint will build a build a fucking riverfront park right in front of the jail exactly it, you know, the waterboarding terror- water slide ex- exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> that's good <laughs> oh and then God! We'll blow it up in three years. Right? I just I, exactly. Then, then nobody will come, and everybody will wonder why. It right. didn't work out, you know. Damn even it. even the terror, because basically the terrorism dried up because they said, "Look, that's just cruel and unusual to send them to Flint, Michigan." Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth Flint it. it for it, you. It, it is not worth the sixteen virgins in heaven. <laughs> you know not what? worth it. The CIA ought to ought to print up flyers. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> it's Flint for you, <laughs> and and dump them over like in Afghanistan. <laughs> 
Uzbekistan. <laughs> I love the guy. I, lo- I want to be the guy that I want to be in the meeting where the guy's like, you know what we need? Flyers here at the flyers. CIA. We'll just do air bombs. Yeah, over you know, they, you know they, they bomb flyers. You yeah, know? I did yeah, know that. It's, it's a propaganda campaign. Yeah. I think is that's what, what they, they should it. do. It's Flint it's for you Flint in Arabic. For you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They, actually, they just throw out just DVD copies. Well, actually, just VHS, whatever they use over there. Pictures. <laughs> they fucking flip books, flip books. Of, of Roger and me because oh, that'll make so it. Now it was so much better then. Oh yeah. You, this city was so, looks so you look at Roger and me yeah. and you look at you're, out here now. Yeah, yeah. you're going, Roger, damn, that's good old days. Yeah, like, wow, that's nice. Yeah, actually I remember they had power. I remember <laughs> <laughs> I remember when uh when Brian first moved to Flint, I remember that it was a couple of weeks I was over at your house. And you decided that you were going to rent a copy of Roger and Me. No, and it was a, it was a year. Was it? A it year? was a year. Okay. And and uh, and yeah, it was a Saturday. I remember we went up to Mammoth Video, which of course is closed now, like yeah. everything else. <laughs> we, we, we couldn't find a copy anywhere. Remember, yeah. we went everywhere, and we finally found this this well, one because, copy. Carson, I don't know if you've ever tried, if you've ever actually had this experience, if you go around attempting to rent a copy of Roger and Me in Flint, Michigan. Oh uh, no, it's 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 actually mums we, mums the word. Yeah, people people like don't even. Uh, yeah, I've did that because me and Steve tried to do, it, couldn't find one. They because they, yeah. they get all. They get all like, "How dare you?" He's not even from Flint. Yeah, he's they, from Davison. They immediately start giving you they the problems. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I just want to know if you go to Davison and, and walk in a movie store, if they just got a whole section devoted to Michael Moore <laughs> and a sign that says, "You know, he's really from here." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right? But, you know, like like when you drive in and has the first sign that says, "Home of the 1998 uh, Class B volleyball champion." Right, ball, right. Ball, right. Home of Michael Moore. <laughs> no, I don't think it. Does. No, it's the city of flags, actually. <laughs> yeah, which is, oh, that's right. Uh, which, trust me, if you're a competing football team, you mo- you move the uh, remove the L quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, the uh, bum 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 city of fags. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, okay. see, well, see, I thought it was bombing, but then I realized Carson wasn't laughing because it's a spelling joke. Right. But uh, <laughs> I was like, move what L? What's that got to do with a flag? Where's there an L in flag? <laughs> Um, yeah. But uh, is it? But it, it is kind of interesting because they do kind of. There are people in Flint that think that whoever is living in Davison is living in a bubble and therefore right. has absolutely no idea what's going on in, in in the Flint community. Right. You know, even though it's just basically just whiter. Are you trash. kidding me? Everybody comes from Davison to go to Flint for <laughs> yeah. some fucking. Let's go slumming tonight. Let's go to Flint. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, you you were making a point about we watched. Uh, we're watching Roger and me. And I remember you saying, "Had I seen this movie before I <laughs> yes. came, I would have gone to West Virginia." Right. Which is funny because West Virginia is also pretty bad. Right. So. But at least it was closer to home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't have to fly to the Redskin games. Right. Yeah, that's that was actually what Brian said. It, now, I w- don't blame you. Would you have been the same way? I'm not going to fucking Flint. Have you ever seen Roger? And me? Uh, no, I, I I I knew about Flint. I just didn't really care. Yeah, <laughs> I remember you were you were you were getting because Carson got I into just radio. To get the hell out. Carson got into radio as a way to piss off his ex girlfriend. Was what it basically was. Yeah, that, she was yeah. like, I'm leaving the you. Family, He's like, I'm everybody. fucking living it. I'm I fuck plus, you. I'm leaving everything. Plus, when yeah. you moved to Flint like ten years ago or any time, you 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 think, all right, well, it, it's gone through. You know, it, it, the city's gone through the worst. There's hope. I mean. I mean, I mean, it's just that you, you're not you're unprepared to be in this city of hopelessness. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, a city that just can't get anything right. Yeah, exactly. honestly, <laughs> when I moved up here, I figured I'd be here for a couple years, you know, but, yeah. you know, get, get a job in the radio deal and then pff, be out of here, man. Right. Wow, was I wrong? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. well, at the same time, it, the thing that none of us really anticipated was the collapse of the radio industry, no right? Because right. it was it was basically about about three years ago is really when the beginnings of it happened, and we yeah. all were just kind of going like, "Wow, it seems to be collapsing." Good thing we're safe, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Good thing I'm really sure and I'm safe. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. What's really sad too is three years ago, it's really when the show got its chops and we could actually go somewhere and get a job. Yeah, we were and actually that's when good. Everything went to shit. That's all right. Everything will be back eventually. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, you know, I was I was asking about the uh, about the um, the inauguration. I wondered if, if Carson had seen it because I know that you and I have already talked about this off mm-hmm. the air. The and apparently now it's become a thing. Is this? I don't know if you know this, Carson, but during the swearing in process, oh, he screwed it up. The, yeah, no, it's actually the the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, Roberts. He fucked it up mm-hmm. and uh, it, he misplaced a word, mm-hmm. and there was some real ambiguity. Which is stupid, uh, but there was a lot of people on Fox on the Fox Network that were questioning whether or not Barack Obama was actually even president at that point yet. Mm-hmm. So I, I he, just want to throw that out there. What, well, go ahead. You know he did another swearing in, right? Yeah, this was done yesterday. Yeah. I was looking at this. Piece I was watching of, the news last night, and I'm like, "Are you serious? Yeah, like could, we we had to swear him in again? The constitutional. If it was a ex- white guy, it would have been fine. <laughs> well, well, actually, it's happened twice before, and yes. obviously those guys. Oh, were white. who? 
Uh, uh, Calvin Coolidge and Warren G. Harding. There were you they, go. Were they Democrats or Republicans? Uh, yes. I believe they were Republicans. Uh, no, I think Coolidge was a Democrat was it one Harding one? was a Republican. No, I, okay. I don't have that here. It's the New York Times. But so anyway, their names are appearing, so I'm going to go with their Democrats. The story I got was he, be- <laughs> he became president at noon on Tuesday, regardless of what happens. Mm-hmm. However... He, his uh, dictates, his, his executive orders cannot be followed until the oath is taken. Ah. So he was president, so they're always president at 12 o'clock. He just can't run shit. They just, he just can't do anything except ah. be president. So, uh, and because oh, that's the... That's pretty good gig. Yeah, yeah. Can't do nothing because, but be president. I'm just that's president. Can be. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What, what decisions are you making? Nothing. Can't do anything. <laughs> nope, but I can speak well. No, no. Go bomb that thing. No. No. <laughs> We're not listening to you. <laughs> All right, fine, whatever. So because You're not my president. The, <laughs> because the oath is in quotation marks in the, in the Constitution... It could be construed that you have to say it verbatim and not just like, well, that's what I meant. Right. Know? So um, because so how many <laughs> how many oaths are? Well, that's what I meant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. But uh, so to be safe. Yeah, they, they, did it. they had it do over. Well, of course, it wasn't necessary because the 20th Amendment to the Constitution says that basically at noon, you know, because they they kind of realized by the by the time, uh, you know, they did because they, they threw it in around the time that um, Roosevelt. Uh, had died because that was the term limits thing. It was the twentieth amendment. Uh-huh. They decided that they were just like, well, you know, we can't, you know, necessarily guarantee that they're always going to be able to do the oath. So they just said uh, noon on January third that whoever was elected right. by the elect. So basically, it didn't matter. Right. He, so that's why people didn't why necessarily run to it. Why am I hearing my voice repeated, why even though it's wonderful? My voice repeated, even though it's wonderful. It's kind of a wild uh, loop. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it has something to do with this. The computer. Hello. Yeah, it's on the computer. Now check out. You know, Eric fucking rules. Oh, your, is your speaker on? Yeah, the speaker's on on the lower left, hand, lower oh. right hand corner. You mm. can just see it. So mm. yeah. I'm fucking everything up. Mm. Lower right hand corner. Lower right hand corner. You can see the in the on the screen. You can see oh, it's okay. Like a little, like, uh, <laughs> oh, I see what we're doing. It's a speaker. So just click on Thank that. you, Carson. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's a little icon. I got a speaker. Right in the right hand corner. Hello. Hello. Hello speaker. All right. <laughs> we're good now. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I was on a roll there. I guess we're done. Uh, <laughs> so much for that. Fuck what this. What is this? You huh? get this at the gym every day? This is what I get when I go to Genesis. By the way, I have a racquetball league starting on, four, on February 4th that I'm very excited about. But this is, uh, I get, the, it's, the to- it's the New York Times Digest. They and give they, you like a, a free white every day. paper every day. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. is fucked up. I, I get nothing I love it. in hurling. It's so great. <laughs> and they give it, they give it, it's, it's Wait terrific. a minute. I heard a voice like yours on the radio not too long ago saying what a great place Hurley is to work out. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. <'em. laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then they fired him. Now it's uh, now we can be honest <laughs> about right. everything. No, I, I do like Hurley. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I, I mean I, I enjoy it there. I, it, it trust is, me, nobody's watching. It is I, nice. No one cares. Did we get a thousand. Uh, 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 what was I gonna what do? Was what? Nothing. What's that? You know, we might. Uh, Did you hear uh, Barack Obama as well? Not only shutting down Guantanamo Bay, but now going over all the uh, rules of interrogation for terrorists and torture. That was signed today. Uh, that did you see that on the news today, Brian? I haven't seen that. He I, he's used that stu- that weird. Si- uh, the, you know, I may have not have voted for him had I seen the way he signed stuff. It creeps me out. Oh, the, the he does the, he does his lefty, lefty lefty thing. But yeah. he does, no, I was on the he, eleven o'clock news last he night. He does the, he say. does the lefty slash cerebral palsy where he's just kind of holding it yeah. just like this. And he's got the. I will say he's got the coolest fucking. Signature. Signature. It does look me. It is. It. They did a close up because he, you know, they had him sitting down at this little desk next to the podium to sign his bill or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's what it with the Guantanamo Bay and the terrorist thing, you know, making sure we don't beat the shit out of them or only so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's really cool because it's it's one eye per. It's, it is so <laughs> like race car driver, like uh-huh. you know, autograph is this huge bubbly B. And then this huge bubbly O. It looks like girl uh-huh. handwriting almost, but it's really cool. I was now, like, man, now, if he had like a number 12 beside that. I was just, damn it, I was just going to say that. <laughs> 43rd Carson, president. 44th Carson, when he, got, when he got to the station, taught everyone how to do their uh, uh, their autograph, which, which of course, being from uh, NASCAR, NASCAR included a car number. Yep. Yeah. So that's what I was going to say. It's too bad he doesn't sign it, you know, Barack Obama, 44. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 44. 44. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the one I saw that that uh, would have bothered me is: Did you see yesterday? He calls in all the staff that's going to work in the in the White House, the mm-hmm. executive staff, mm-hmm. and he has this uh, sp- this uh, speech or or you know talk where he pep talk, yeah, where he tells them, you know, 
I'm freezing your salaries. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't work for a. Um, um, Oh God, I have no, I have no vocabulary anymore. You can't, you cannot work for lobbyists, a lobby, yeah. lobbyists anymore, and that, and that's typically how people make money after they've worked in the White House. Yes, wouldn't you be sitting there? I'd be the guy like, well, thanks, Dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. After I sure all that, I, after all that, <laughs> change you're my me out of the salary. <laughs> this is the change you. I voted for, yeah. dickhead. No, I Dick. Who knows if they voted for him? But if they're going to work for him, he's going to free. Yeah, he's freezing their salaries. They Anybody cannot... that makes over hundred thousand a year. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, Mister Never watches fine. TV. Has yeah. all the no facts shit. over here. No shit. Since when did you do that? Fun? <laughs> so wait a minute. If you didn't watch the fucking inauguration, that well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, all I know is he fucked it up. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. Eleven o'clock news. What eleven o'clock news? Where are you watching it at? He has uh, fucking Thor go out there with a fucking satellite dish on his head. ABC. <laughs> ABC. Okay, ABC comes yeah, in. I got, I got, I got uh, that and Fox pretty much. I got to watch, watch uh, Lost last night, which I was very excited about. Really? Did you catch the season premiere? No, it's on my TiVo. I, I, my my oh. chick isn't into it, and it's fucking, it's annoying me. Oh, that is, you, oh, man. That's a, it's a good one. Yeah, I mean, it is I, really good. I really did want to smack her when I find out the fucking show she's into. She's into goddamn, what is it, uh, uh, Intervention. Oh, Lisa loves that damn show. Really? God, yes. I hate it. What is it? It's it's, it's oh, more wait. or less. Let Carson describe it, and then I'll tell him if he's right or wrong. More or less. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the show. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the formula here at the Eric it's, and Carson show. It, absolutely. <laughs> more or less, it's white trash drug addicts uh, mm-hmm. with people Listeners. like their parents or whoever like that. Give them money for drugs and can't understand why they won't quit doing drugs, but yet their parents pay for everything. And then they all get together, and the parents and the family gets together and talks about how they're going to send this person to rehab. And then they finally get them in the room and send them to rehab. After about 10 minutes of her saying, I'm not going, I don't care, I want to get high, the person always goes to rehab. <laughs> and then uh, then they'll show them, after they've been in rehab about a month, they look better, and then they show the black screen with what happened to them, which usually includes, and two months later, they're they back. left rehab and moved back in with Bob the Crap. Head. Now, is is your girlfriend, as a result of this of watching this show, all of a sudden have uh, plans for her friends that she doesn't necessarily think? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Is, oh, it, is she, she doing that? She, she she did. Like Lisa's been watching this fucking thing for like three years now. Okay, but yeah, there was a time she was actually going to do an intervention on Rob when he lived with us. No for shit. his drinking. Yeah, really. Honest to God. Oh my God. Oh, my, buddy, I, think Rob, I remember yeah. you talking about that. Yeah, remember? And, like, uh, and I was, and I eventually talked her out of it. And, thank and, God. And how, the, embar- and, how embarrassing for you uh, that uh, you know, What's funny you is imagine like, you know, your girlfriend has an intervention. Uh, and you- well, well because they friends. watch the show. They did this yeah. is what they do. They watch the show and now they decide they want to fucking act it out. It's like every wanna, goddamn yeah. thing else. Yeah. If it's, it's like jackass. Yeah, no matter what it yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, jackass like, for girls. It, it's so <laughs> fucking it stupid. Like my like my my girlfriend has this friend that drinks a lot. And I'm like, you know, they're by the grace of God, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like she's like it was so funny because she's like <laughs> You know, I think Rob drinks <laughs> yeah, way exactly. too much. Exactly, exactly. Okay, babe. All right, let's have it. Yeah, let's have it. Let me tell you something. For it. You've Here. got a severe problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it was. Could you in the fill day. that balloon for me? Listen, you got a severe yeah. problem. Hey, I just need a needle and a spoon. Yeah. Your drinking is getting out of control. All right. Yeah. Um, but uh, that, that's the fucking show. It's horrible. It just because uh, I said to her, I was like, you know, I, she's like, but you know, she drinks every night. I'm like, so do we? But it's so it's only one bottle of wine. So yeah. what? <laughs> it's still what's, the same. What's shit. funny is after watching the show, you will automatically feel bad about drinking, smoking pot, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you, but what do you do when you feel bad? It, you well, me drink and n- smoke pot. Well, yeah, not so much anymore. <laughs> but you. Well, I'm sure as soon as if, as soon as you get your unemployment, then of oh, course there'll be, be a you. certain man being called. I promise you that. <laughs> Bring it by the truckload. <laughs> Time to get in a good mood again. Yeah, beer, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Calling the Coors Man. Me a little lap man. The Coors Man. Wasn't that actually, was the Coors Man actually, a, was that a, I think they had a man. man. They had a little no, guy. That was, that was Bud Man, I think. Oh, Bud, Bud Man. Man. That's, That's Bud right. Man. Then they made, then Simpsons made fun of it with the Duff Man. And then that, Duff was, man. All over, that was all over. Duff Man, you know, gets his hips going or whatever the hell it was. I've never been a Simpsons guy. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I just it's never been on my radar. I don't know. I mean, I hear stories all the time. It sounds funny, but I, and then if it's been on for like what thirty years now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. Um. Now, uh, not thirty years. It was on after I was born. Was no. it? Yeah. It's oh, only that's been right, Twenty yeah. years. Twenty years then. That's probably. I mean, but seriously, like yeah. twenty years. I was ten, eleven when it came on. It's amazing how long it's been going. Yeah, it really has. Um. This is kind of an interesting thing I saw that's uh, in San Francisco. Now I don't think this is actually Shaw. Because it uh, started apparently on November 6th, and he was still in Michigan at that point. 
Uh, crime spree is rising. A uh, decided stink in San Francisco. 19 portable toilets have been set on fire at construction sites That's in November awesome. 6, according to the fire department. No one's been injured, but the breezes blowing in from the Pacific have apparently been taking a hit. How, <laughs> how much would it suck if you were on vacation? Okay. <laughs> you know, hotel's you're, doing you're, a little remodeling. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and or or even hail two people. You know, just down the beach a little bit. Somebody's getting their house redone. Right. You're in from Michigan. You're like fucking a. You wake up in the morning. You fucking throw open the blinds. You look out on the balcony. You go, God, that's gorgeous. Let me go out here and fucking slam the door open. You walk out there. <laughs> Oh God! I'm gonna fuck up you. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. You've you've gone ahead and booked a five star restaurant and what your five star restaurant a five star hotel. Yeah, and all you can smell is flaming feces. Yeah, that would suck out is loud. There a, is there a, a Boy Scout troop that's been active or something? I or don't know, but apparently uh, at the at uh, first several privies were hit. Uh, in Russian Hill, according to sweeping views, <laughs> who uses the word privy? Which has, which by the way, has sweeping vil- uh, views of San Francisco Bay. Recently, adjacent neighborhoods have also been victimized. What in the outhouse? Uh, so you're, the, you're no the previs. You're, the so previs. you're in the yeah. You're and they the, use that word because they can't say shitters in the newspaper. Well, you can go get it. We can say portalette. Or you, you can, can go take a constitutional, the morning constitutional, which is always my favorite. <laughs> portalette is a brand name. Huh? Oh, is it really? Yep. Is is it really? Mm-hmm. The ones at the Redskins Stadium are called Johnny on the Spot. Johnny I, on I the just Spot's think that's brand the funniest name, name in the yep. world for that. <laughs> Johnny on the Spot. Well, you know it was John Crapper that created the toilet, so that therefore that's why his that's why people call it the Crapper or the John. Mm-hmm. Oh, no kidding. You didn't know that? Did not know that. Mm-hmm. That's the man who invented yep. the indoor toilet. And uh, how unfortunate. Then there's General Hooker in the. Um, uh, Civil War. Ah, yes. That, where uh, hookers got their got hands. prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's just that. it's just funny how this th- how these things happen. No, Apparently, funny. Xerox was a guy. Talking about uh, the portalettes and whatnot. You know, yeah. doing the racing deal. You would go around and and most places like you'd go to the garage areas and stuff would not have. They'd have like a couple bathroom stalls, but you'd always have portalettes lined up, mm-hmm. and you would see some of the funniest fucking names. Like yeah. Johnny on the spot was was That's a, good a good one. one. Uh, but the the best one I have ever saw, and it actually made me laugh. Like <laughs> that's great. Uh, was the black hole? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, you walk up and it's like the black hole, and it's just really. Fun. What's really funny is the whole you know seat part is all painted black. <laughs> Which uh, was just, it was all blue except for you know oh, so the they black. Did a, they took it way too far. Yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> when, I was like, oh, the black hole. And then I opened the door and I'm like, oh, really? You know, you know that's a, you know that that's a, that's a series of meetings that that got oh, into. Yeah. Well, we gotta have a black toilet seat. On. Right. Exactly. <laughs> One guy said the black hole, and he everybody laughed. And about ten mi- ten weeks after that, when they were designing everything, <laughs> everyone was fucking sick of it. Oh yeah. Like enough already yes, with yes. this. Just get the goddamn yes. thing made. Jesus, this is the <laughs> dumbest thing ever. We had all these brand new. Port- and we gotta freaking paint them black. <laughs> We've been in those meetings dozens of times. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, way to go on your stupid idea. Exactly. Yeah, backyard. We just keep running with it now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Air banana. Now we got these shirts that no one wants. <laughs> Are dumb shirts looking back. Jesus, could we get anything else? I saw there? a guy with one with the air banana shirts, and it was in an odd sp- area too. It was like it wasn't in Flint. These fucking ba- these things were awful. They're the worst looking shirts ever. I think I've seen them actually. It, it was there was so much design on it. It may as well have been yeah, uh, you was, know the Sistine Chapel on every yeah, goddamn shirt. Yeah. It was the, like your entire shirt would be filled with this this like sticky you know the stuff they use to put you know to put the designs screen on. Printing. Yeah, the screen printing. And mm-hmm. I, just, let me just interject here for those of you scoring at home. We're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, wait a minute. Who is that? It <laughs> and was you. No, I, Eric, I didn't work me there. and Tom. you. Uh, I was not the promotion director, but uh, oh, that was Gareth Farley. Was it Gareth? Yeah, and he was the one who designed it. So let's blame it on him. All right, is this Gareth Farley? Yeah, because <laughs> because who who because uh, first of all. I know that you're not artistic enough to draw the sketch because the sketch, Carson, was actually drawn out on a piece of paper. Of course, it the, was the the, the actual oh, yeah, we airplane. Did, yeah. We did yeah. the the whole thing. There, the, you know, there was the, there was an insignia for Air Banana, which in the event that it ha- it was going to take off, which it didn't. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck was Air Banana? Oh, it was awful. It was this concept <laughs> I had. Oh God. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Because uh, <laughs> we did spring spring tour. Right. Uh, that was in two thousand ninety eight. Spring Tour 98. Yeah. De- decent idea, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is the old banana is that we what we used to do is we'd find a decent idea and we would pound we'd it into the, the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so was, much like the banana when we left. Yeah, <laughs> not no, 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 way worse. Because like as now they beat the shit out of music, but we just essentially did the same things over and over again and came oh. up with a different name for it. As it turns out, the listeners do eventually get on to you on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, they do. Gas card? Yes, they do. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that, that also did follow the law of diminishing returns, if you remember. Uh, just point it out. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Everybody loves gas. <laughs> What's not the like? Dude, I thought that was the greatest thing. We should do a chat. The whole damn book. Nothing but gas cards. I'll, I'll say this. It was, should have been retired at the uh, burping burrito because that you're, you weren't going to top it. No. That was good. You weren't going to top it after that. After that, it was over. <sighs> uh, anyway. Wow. That was a good bit. But anyway, the, uh, <laughs> the Air Banana. Uh, basically what it was, and this was actually a pretty cool thing. We'd send you to, uh, to go see uh, like Pearl Jam in Seattle. Mm -hmm. We'd oh, send you yeah. to Chicago to go see. I remember when radio stations were doing that. Oh yeah, that's 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 what we were doing. I tried like hell to win them motherfucking things. I never even got qualified. They're for great life. If you do it, it's great lifestyle stuff or whatever. But the problem is, again, the law of diminishing returns. Air Banana was that we're Air Banana, and oh god, and we're going to. Uh, and it's a, it's an airline. Oh fuck! Could you do the rest? Because I don't. Want oh, to it's an airline for rock it's station. Airline. Yeah, okay. for the radio station is its own. And you know yeah. now. Now uh, boarding on Air Banana, where you know we're boarding for Austin, where we'll see Creed, yes, you know right. that, that kind of stuff. Oof. But and then we, you know, we we, we had some fun Reed. with it. We had uh, yeah. we had Fred Bear was the was the uh, yes, he, flight attendant yes, or the was. pilot. Yes, we did we did those fun. Th it was <laughs> actually some nifty stuff that we did with it. But as yeah. it turns out, around four months, the audience gets a little tired of Air Banana. And I used to give away <laughs> I used to give away a T-shirt with everything. <laughs> Everything came with a T-shirt. You know, I, I, honestly, I wish you would have done that at the end because, <laughs> goddamn, then maybe people would quit asking me for them fucking things. Yeah, that, well, that walking in a remote with two shirts. <laughs> so anyway, you're well, there for two hours. We went for we went for have we went from having a budget to <sighs> not having a budget, but now we're it's in the weeds. Tough times. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> now we're in the weeds. So yeah, air banana. And you know what? With air banana, we can take a break. I think. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I think you got to give them a reason to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have. Uh, we have. Uh, does anybody think it matters to pay taxes? Uh, apparently, evolution is up for grabs in West Texas. Oh God. <laughs> and uh, scientists. You, know, you never win those t discussions. I just. Well, I, I just thought it was interesting. Apparently, yeah. it's not. It's not. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this one definitely. Fuck evolution. We'll do. Uh, apparently, it's not profitable to uh, sell shit on.